Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, man, machine, everything within between, to Pokemon Crystal on the Game Boy Color. Now, I know, it's been a bit since we've delved into the world of Pokemon, right? It's been like, what, a month since the last video? I think the last one we did was Pokemon Stadium. You know, technically Pokemon uh, Pocket Monster Stadium 2, but... You know, U.S. Pokemon Stadium 1. So, for those, uh, for those who know, right? For those eagled-eyed viewers, where the fuck, why can't I control my bullshit? Why can't I, why don't my fingers work on my Game Boy Color that I'm obviously playing this on? There we go. So, for those who know, right off the bat, first of all, I've already fucked up this goddamn, um, Two seconds, not even a minute in, I'm already cursing into a goddamn Pokemon playthrough. Alright, cool. Uh, I already fucked up the recording, uh, recording? The upload, you know, the order of uploads for these games, because I, I'm just, I don't know, I'm just, I'm just wrong, I guess. Uh, so, those who know, Crystal didn't come out after Pokemon Stadium in Japan. It came out way down the road. After Pokemon Stadium 2, right? Um, Pocket Monster Stadium 3, technically, I guess. You know, Gen 2 version. So, why aren't we looking at gold and silver? And why aren't we doing all the other fucking games first? All the other in between games? Well, that's because, number one, we're definitely going to be visiting gold and silver in the DS version. So, it's kind of redundant to sit here and play gold and silver crystal and then gold and silver again later down the road. It's just too much, right? Same thing with Pokemon uh, yellow, right? There's no reason to play red and blue, then play yellow, then down the road play uh, Gen 3 red and blue, then also play Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, right? There's really no reason to do that. That's just way, that's just over redundant, right? It's already enough that we're going to be playing the same game fucking three times. Um, <laughs> so yeah, Pokemon Crystal. The other thing, I'm holding my notes in my hand, by the way, because I gotta commit all. I can't commit all this shit to memory. It's too much. It's a lot. The other thing is that this, my version of Pokemon Crystal, will be different from your version of Pokemon Crystal, because I want it to play the game. You know. Unlike, unlike, um, Red and Blue, where I wanted to play the game as how it was intended, right? Glitches and all. Um, I'm playing a... Well, not how it was intended, how it came out. Uh, for how it was intended, that's how I'm playing Pokemon Crystal, right? This is Pokemon Perfect Crystal. Basically, a hack that makes Pokemon Crystal better, right? For the most part, it makes it better. Unfortunately, the person who made it... Uh, besides just fixing, you know, besides just patching up the game, they decided to change a handful of things. For once, the the final battle, final battle, quote unquote, final boss against Trainer Red, spoiler alert, uh, all his Pokemon are level 100 for no goddamn reason. Also, some of the gym leaders are like boosted, I think, in this, in this, um, in this hack for the game or whatever, right? And, uh, just a bunch of things are changed in general, you know, uh, some Japanese sprites have been brought back, you know, stuff, you know, stuff like that, nothing too crazy, but just, just as a heads up for some battles and stuff, and maybe I think some Pokemon got tweaked here and there, I'm not really sure, and maybe some moves got tweaked here and there, I'm not sure, um, but yeah, just in general, Pokemon Perfect Crystal, you know, this is the version I'm playing, on my Game Boy Color computer, Game Boy Color computer, right? The Game Boy computer. <laughs> so, you're gonna notice, you know, if you're an Eagle Eye viewer, you're gonna notice some things, right? Uh, also, I mean, let's be honest, I'm pretty sure you guys don't want to watch me wa uh, play Pokemon Play It, or Pokemon Play It 2, or Pokemon Challenge, or Pokemon Puzzle League, you know? Like... You don't want to sit here and watch me play fucking a uh, shitty PC game that's that's garbage, right? Two of them, and then after that, play like, you know, Tetris or Candy Crush for like 10 minutes. So we're just going to skip all that, honestly, because nobody gives a fuck, right? I know there's people who like Pokemon Puzzle Challenge League and all that shit, but honestly, nobody cares. So 
with all that said let us get started right first thing tech speed we're gonna put that up to faris battle scenes on stylish is sound mono normal print darker the hell i have no idea what that is whatever menu i menu account on sure frame we're gonna change our frames we're gonna make it look i don't know it's gonna look nice I like three. We're, we're sticking with three. You can't... You can't tell me what to do. Anyways. Are you a boy or a girl? I'm a boy. Hmm. Oh, by the way. First things first. I feel like I'm going to be wrong if I say this automatically, right? <laughs> first things first. Hey, in Pokemon Gen 2, you can play as a girl. That's crazy, man. That's awesome. Anyways. Hmm, you woke me up. Well, you check, the, uh, will you uh, fuck, I can't read already, I already fucked up. Will you check the clock for me? What time is it? A second thing that they added in Pokemon Gen 2, right, is that there is a clock system. Congratulations, night and day is now a thing. Now, for me right now, it's like 12 o'clock in the afternoon. Um... But I'm actually going to change this shit to 6 at night because cause we out here watching Nick at night. No, I'm kidding. Because, um, imagine, oh my god, imagine Nick at night was still good. Uh, because, a quarter, you know, depending on what time of day you're playing a game in, it makes certain Pokemon appear. And we need to have certain Pokemon appear for our team for this game. So man, it's 6 o'clock at night, that's crazy. Take your ass to bed. You're like a 10 year old. It's six o'clock on the dot. Holy shit. Six o'clock at night. No wonder it's so damn dark. Hello, sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak. People call me the Pokemon Prof. This world is inhabited by creatures that we call Pokemon. People in Pokemon live together by supporting each other. Some people play with Pokemon, some battle with them. But we don't know everything about Pokemon yet. There's still many mysteries to solve. That's why I study Pokemon every day. Now, what did you say your name was? My name is the same as always, man. You know who I am, you know who it is. It's your boy, Fire, aka Burnt Toast. <laughs> A.K.A. that campfire you didn't put out. A.K.A. rocking it at Camp Crystal Lake. A.K.A. Friday the 14th. I couldn't find the R. I had to stall for time. Fire, are you ready? Man, your name is Fire. That's Fire. Your very own Pokemon story is about to unfold. You'll face fun times and tough challenges. A world of dreams and adventures. With Pokemon awaits. Let's -a go. I'm sorry, you can't say that with enough enthusiasm now because Chris Pratt is voicing Mario. You gotta say it all monotone and sad. It's me, I'm Mario. Pay me money now, Nintendo. Anyways, I love how this dude has like a fucking ham radio in his goddamn room. Prof Oak's Pokemon Talk. Please tune in next time. Pokemon Channel. This is DJ Mary, your co-host, Pokemon Pokemon Channel. Wait, what? Pokemon po- what? Okay. Alright. So right off the bat, uh, because I added it in, that was the only change I made to the Pokemon Red and Blue playthrough, you know, with the- with the hacks and shit. We had color, but, you know, if you were playing on original Game Boy, you hop in Pokemon fucking gold and silver, you're all like, yo, oh my god, it's color. Oh, fire, our neighborhood, Prof. Elm. I know it's Professor, don't gotta tell me. But Prof, we're calling him Prof. Prof. Elm was looking for you. He said he wanted you to do something for him. Oh, I almost forgot uh, your Pokemon gear is back from the repair shop. Here you go. For some reason, my child has Pokemon gear but no Pokemon. Yankee with no brim? <laughs> Pokemon gear or just poke wait what or just pokey gear. It's essential if you want to be a good trainer Oh, the day of the week isn't set. You mustn't forget that. What day is it? What day is it? Today's Thursday Thursday is it? Uh-huh 
It is daylight savings time now? I- I don't- I don't think it is. I mean, it doesn't matter, no. So, is that okay? Yeah, that's okay. Come home to adjust your clock. For daylight savings time. By the way, do you know how to use the phone? No, Ma. I never used it. What kind of new technology is this in the good old year of... of, uh... 2000. In Japan. <laughs> I read the instructions. Turn the Poke Gear on and select the phone icon. The phone numbers are stored in memory. Just choose the name you want to call. Gee, isn't that convenient? It is. Who the hell are you and why are you in my house? Good evening, Fire. I'm visiting. Fire, have you heard? My daughter is adamant about becoming a Prof Elms. Uh, becoming a Prof Elms. Wow. Becoming Prof Elms assistant. She really loves Pokemon. I don't think we see the girl counterpart in in Crystal. Unlike um, you know, unlike the DS version. All right. So let's head over to Prof Elms. What the hell are you doing over here? Who are you? So, this is the famous Elm Pokemon Lab. What are you staring at? Ah! Oh! Egags! How dare you! Fire! There you are. I need to ask you a favor. I'm conducting new Pokemon research right now. I was wondering if you could help me with it, Fire. You see, I'm writing a paper that I want to present at a conference. But there are some things I don't quite understand yet. So, i like you to raise a Pokemon that I recently caught. Oh boy, a free Pokemon? Sure! Thanks, Fire. You're a great help. When I announce my findings, I'm sure we'll delve a bit deeper into the many mysteries of Pokemon. You can count on it. Oh boy. Oh hey, I got an email. Hmm. Okay. What is this new electronic mail that you are talking about? Hey, listen. I have an acquaintance called Mr. Pokemon. He keeps finding weird things and raving about his discoveries. Anyways, I just got an email from him. Saying that this time it's real. All the other times weren't. <laughs> so he's been wasting my time. Don't know why I hang out with that guy. It's intriguing, but we're busy with our Pokemon research. Wait, I know. Fire, can you go in our place? Our place? Who's our? Who's we? What? It's I'm only talking to you, right? <laughs> I want you to raise one of the Pokemon contained in these balls. <laughs> these Pokeballs. Got to be specific. You can't like can't can't tell the, can't just tell the ten year old to pick up your balls now, can you? <laughs> You'll be that Pokemon's first partner, Fire. First partner? What, you think I'm gonna die in the woods or something? Shit. You'll be its first partner. Like, what? What? <laughs> Why you say it? Shouldn't I be its only partner? <laughs> Go on, pick one. Alright. We have three new starters to choose from. Over here, we have Totodile. The cute little alligator Pokemon. Right? It's a water type. And, man... It will become more ugly the more it evolves. Totodile is honestly the best looking out out of all of its three evolutions. Do you want Totodile, the water Pokemon? No. Think it over carefully. Your partner is important. We have Chikorita. This thing becomes adorable. It is already adorable. But Bailey fits its best form. So you like Chikorita, the grass Pokemon? Nah. Think it over carefully. Your Pokemon par partner is important. I completely fuck up that sentence. And he got Cyndaquil. The cute little anteater fire Pokemon. Cyndaquil, let's be honest, just like Charizard, super overrated, but we love him anyways. I mean, listen, it takes everything in my, er, in my body, in my mind, to not pick up Cyndaquil. Oh my god. I love him. Quilava's cool. Quilava's the best. You'll take Cyndaquil, the fire Pokemon? No. So, one look at our... Wonderful, wonderful artwork for the thumbnail. You can tell what starter we're going to pick. Oh, Chikorita, it's your time to shine. People keep sleeping on you. You're a really goddamn good Pokemon. I think that's a great Pokemon, too. Alright, give it a nickname. 
just like before with our other playthrough, we're gonna be nicknaming our Pokemon. And oh boy, this one's gonna be known as Mimi. Why? Because I think I think the idea of screaming fuck him up, Mimi, is hilarious. <laughs> Go! Fuck him up, Mimi! Get him! Fine whip! <laughs> Mr. Pokemon lives a little bit beyond Cherry Grove, the next city over. It's almost a direct route. It's almost a direct route there, so you can't miss it. But just in case, here's my phone. Call me if anything comes up. Yay, you got the phone number of a man older than you. Every child's dream. If your Pokemon is hurt, <laughs> hurt, you should heal it with this machine. Feel free to use it any time. Oh, wait, what? I can use that machine in here? Wait, I never knew that. I'm counting on you. Learn something new every day, huh? Let me see. No, f hold up. Oh my god, I didn't know I can use this in here. Yikes. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> so, let's take a nice look at our beautiful, beautiful Pokemon. Mimi. Now, something also added to Gen 2 is the introductions of genders in your Pokemon. Yay! Right? One of the biggest things added in Pokemon Generation 2 is the ability to breed Pokemon, something that you could not do in Gen 1, right? I don't think you can do it in Gen 1. Yeah, no, I don't... could... Mm. No, I don't think you can do it in Gen 1 at all. <laughs> Right? You couldn't do it in Gen 1. Maybe you can do it in Yellow. I'm not sure. I, for some reason, I'm having a hard time remembering. Anyways. So, they definitely wanted to push this. This is something that they wanted to do in Gen 1 originally. That's why we had Nidoran male and Nidorina, uh, Nidoran male and Nidoran female. Right? Those were the only two Pokemon that had genders in, uh, in fucking Gen 1, but I guess, you know, they just didn't have enough time to flush out the system, or the cartridge couldn't handle the memory or something like that. Like, Pokemon Generation 2 is a goddamn miracle as to how much shit they can put on that cartridge, right? It skips me right, it skips my brain right now who, who, uh, did all the programming for that, but I think it might have been, I think it might have been Awada who did it? If it's not a while, if it wasn't a Satoru Awada, then it was definitely Miyamoto, right? But I think it was Awada. I'm pretty sure it was Awada that, uh, that, um, you know, added, like, Gen 1 inside, you know, Pokemon, inside of Pokemon, uh, Gold and Silver and stuff like that. Anyways, so, another thing that's new is items for your Pokemon. They can now hold items. And they can use them in the middle of battle. Right? Chikorita comes with the berry. That's cool. And then another new addition is the difference between special attack and special defense. In Gen 1, psychic types were overpowered because both special defense and special attack was delegated to one stat just called special. That is no longer the case. Which is amazing. We now have physical attack, physical defense, special attack, special defense, and speed. So, pretty good. Pretty good changes for his goddamn sequel. And there is more to come, right? With the addition of 100 new Pokemon and about 86 new moves for these Pokemon. It's gonna get wild, <laughs> right? Along with that is also the changes to balancing the game. Right? Fire! I want you to have this for your Aaron. Fire received potion. Thank you. There are only two of us, so we're always busy. Thank you. Alright. Onward to Cherry Grove. So, it's night time. Here at night, you're gonna run across some, uh, you know, in daytime, you will run across Centrit. A new Pokemon, normal type, ferret looking motherfucker, you know, squirrel, ferret looking bastard, right? And, you know, your Pidgeys and your Rattatas. At night, you can run across a Pokemon known as, um, not, uh, Hoot Hoot. I was about to say Noctowl. Noctowl's the evolution. Yo, are you, po are you, wait, what? Did he just say, am I po- I'm sorry, did I read that right? <laughs> if they're weak and not ready for battle, keep out of the grass. All right. So, we're gonna have a long, long adventure ahead of us. So, 
one of the things that the uh, that the little hack that I'm playing right now introduces is the ability of running shoes. So we can go a little bit faster, you know, it's kind of like a, you know, technically it's still using a speed up without using a speed up, but, you know, running shoes are not in Gen 2, but Pokemon Perfect Crystal here adds running shoes, so that's nice. So we can move on twice as fast. I wanted to take a break, record my progress. All right. Up here, I don't think this leads to Mr. Pokemon. I think this is a kind of a dead end. Oh boy, I first battle. It's a ta 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 ta. Pokemon now have little animations to do when they get sent out. Isn't that wonderful? I'm very happy. I'm very happy that we're playing Gen 2. You wanna know why? Because it brings us one step closer to Gen 3. And Gen 3 is when everything changes. <laughs> for the better and for the worse. All right, nice. So, Gen 2, overall, it's gonna seem pretty easy, right? Because your main challenge is gonna be the post game. Uh, Johto is a very, compared to all the other games, is a very goddamn short um, region in itself, but that's because, along with Johto, you also have Kanto in this game. Also, here's Hoot Hoot, one of our new Pokemon, right? Now, it took everything in my veins to not add Hoot Hoot to my goddamn party for this playthrough, mainly because I'm used to instantly getting a flying type on my team. But Hoot Hoot is a normal flying type, right? And I think it can learn Foresight, Foresight? Is it Foresight? Yeah, it can learn Foresight and Confusion as well. So, you know. Oh my god, Mimi, stop missing. Please don't do this. Thank you. Speaking of flying types, a bunch of moves got changed around too, right? Along with the rebalancing and stuff like that. So, ghost types affinities now work, which, I mean... Technically speaking, they did work in Gen 1. The only reason that it didn't feel like that they didn't work in Gen 1, it was because the only ghost type that you had access to were also poison type. And since poison type is super effective, uh, I mean, since psychic is super effective against poison, you can see how that turned out, right? So, technically it worked, but at the same time, it didn't. Also, we have new um we have new ghost type moves as well you know instead of just lick which was which was a physical attack right uh what was it lick confuse ray and um what was the other ghost move that we had in in um in gen one there was three right i might be wrong it was lick confuse ray and something else whatever it was fucking it was garbage. It was a travesty, right? So, now, here's something that I'm gonna have to do for this playthrough. I think I can do it right now, and if I can, I am going to do it right now. I need to add a Pokemon onto our roster, right? Because I wanted to introduce some Pokemon that people may not have used in Gen 2 at all. People may have overlooked these Pokemon and stuff like that, you know? And I think I chose a pretty good variety of Pokemon. And one of those Pokemon is Mischievous. It is a new ghost type Pokemon introduced in Gen 2. But the only problem is the way you get Mischievous is that you had to ha you have to go to Mount Silver. And to go to Mount Silver, you have to beat the Elite Four. And you can see how that how that would, you know, look if uh <laughs> if I waited to get Mischievous, right? It wouldn't be a good look for the playthrough. So, I did prepare a separate save for myself to go and grab myself a level one mischievous to have on our team. So I will do exactly that and I will be right back if I'm able to do it. I may not be able to trade yet, but I'll be right back. I'm gonna do that. I'm not gonna show the trading because I did that in gen one and basically it's the same damn thing. So nothing to show off there. So I will see you guys in a second while these people in my background mow their lawns. Every goddamn time, every goddamn time I record, someone's doing some shit. 
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Um, yeah, I, I, uh, I totally forgot. Um, by the way, Chikorita leveled up off screen just by one level, nothing crazy. Um, because I went to go get a Rattata to capture it, and I totally forgot. Yep, can't, can't trade Pokemon right now. I need to get Pokeballs, and they are unavailable to me until I meet Mr. Pokemon, I think. So, we're gonna continue. Anyways, once you come into, uh, Cherry Grove, right, this is Cherry Grove, right? I'm not crazy. Yeah, once you come to Cherry Grove, you want to talk to this old man, right? You're a rookie trainer, aren't you? I can tell. That's okay. Everyone's a rookie at some point. <sighs> Get that point across, YouTube. You know what I mean? You don't have, you don't have a million bajillion views. Why do I care? Hey, man, everyone's got to start somewhere. If you like, I can teach you a few things. Yeah, sure, why not? Okay, then follow me. This is a Pokemon Center. They heal your Pokemon in no time at all. You'll be relying on them a lot, so you better learn about them. This is the Pokemon Mart. They sell balls for catching wild Pokemon and other useful items. Route 30 is out this way. Trainers will be battling their prize Pokemon there. This is the ocean. <laughs> I assume you don't know what this is. This is the sea, as you can see. Some Pokemon are found only in the water. Here? It's my house! Thank you for your company. Let me give you a small gift. You get the map card, which is very useful. You're gonna want this. It's basically a map for your goddamn game, right? Pokey gear comes more useful as you add cards. I wish you luck on your journey. Thank you. I gotta check my Chikorita because I'm not sure if it's still damaged or not. Okay, it is. Alright, cool. Let me go heal it, actually. Just be safe. So you want to talk to that old guy to get the map card, basically. That's all you want. Nothing crazy. Right? So onward to Mr. Pokemon. I'm going to be abusing the shit out of the fact that I can use run shoes, right? Because why not? Anyways, I think this is Mr. Pokemon's house. You know, Pokemon eats berries. Well, my Pokemon got healthier by eating a berry. Here, I'll share one with you. Thank you. Put in your item pocket. So, another change here in the great old world of Pokemon and Gen 2 is in your backpack. You now have multiple areas to store things. That's cool, right? So never again will you pick up something and go, oh, I can't have this. Except for the fact that you will. Because even though you have multiple spaces, I believe that items are still limited, so you don't have an unlimited inventory, but it's definitely more, you know, it's nice that you have a separate pouch for your Pokeballs, and for your key items, and for your TMs, and your items. So most of the time now, you don't have to worry too much about carrying too many items, which is very nice, very helpful indeed. We're not quite at unlimited inventory space, but we'll get there. I found an antidote. Thank you. I don't know who I'm saying thank you to. Nature? Anyways, up here you can see two fucking Lamos fighting the Rattatas. Go Rattata! Tackle! What? This is a big battle. Leave me alone! Cool. So that was a Mr. Pokemon house. Mr. Pokemon's house is up here. Damn. Dun, 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 dun. Oh my god, it's a polywag. I didn't know polywag showed up in this area, I'm be honest. Go fuck him up, Mimi! Get him! I'm happy that I named it Mimi because our Mimi is female. I think that's the sign for female, right? I never quite learned them. I'm stupid, okay? So, Chikorita, right? The Chikorita evolution line. Very goddamn strong Pokemon. Kind of heavily slept on, right? Just pretty goddamn good all around. Maybe except for speed. But, I'm telling you, Meganium becomes a fucking tank. <laughs> so, 
I love Chikorita. I do, honestly. I love all the Gen. I love all the Gen 2 starters, really. They're all pretty good picks. I just wish that, you know, Tortodile didn't become so ugly because he's such a cute, fucking adorable little crocodile. You know, the more it evolves, the uglier it becomes, right? Chikorita goes into Meganium, becomes cool. And then, um. Well. Becomes, becomes more adorable, right? And then you have Cinequil, turns to Quilava, which is probably my favorite out of the evolutions, but after that you get Typhlosion, which is just straight up cool. And then you get fucking Croconaw, which is ugly, and then you get Feraligatr, which is even more ugly. And it's like, oh man, they're cool, but why well, you got such a mean-ass hunchback, you know what I mean? But don't worry. Almost every starter in the Pokemon series will get its chance in the spotlight when it comes to my playthroughs. Don't worry. We're level 7. Oh, I thought we learned an ability. Okay, never mind. Fuck you. Fuck me, I guess. Hello, hello. You must be fire. Prof. Elm said that you would visit. This is what I want Prof. Elm to examine. Fire received the mysterious egg. Fire, put the mysterious eggs in I don't know why I said it in his voice. I know a couple of, I know a couple who run a Pokemon daycare service. They gave me that egg. I was intrigued, so I sent mail to Prof to Prof Elm. For Pokemon Evolution, Prof Elm is the authority. Even Pro even Prof Oak here recognizes that. If my assumptions is correct, Prof Elm will know <coughs> I lost my voice in like there. I don't know why I did. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why I read Oak as okay. Why did I do that? What's wrong with me? Something's wrong with me. Ah, so you're fire. I'm Oak, a Pokemon researcher. I was just visiting my old friend, Mr. Pokemon. Hey. Hey, Professor Oak, I got a question for you. If Mr. Pokemon's your old friend, and he lives in Johto, how come you don't know what the fuck Johto Pokemon are? <laughs> like... <laughs> I, that's something that always bothered me about Pokemon. It's all like, it's all like, man, who knows? There can be more Pokemon. Meanwhile, like, in the year fucking 1998, motherfuckers over there in the Alola region are just fucking doing the hula and shit with a bunch of bullshit-ass Pokemon. I heard you were running an errand for Prof. Elm, so I waited here. Oh, what's this? A rare Pokemon. Let's see. Oh, yeah, by the way. Another thing added into this um, ROM hack, not in the original game, added into this ROM hack, is um, you can capture the starters out in the wild. They have very rare encounter rates, but I know, I know in a nearby cave you can actually catch a Cyndaquil, right? I ran into one before during my test playthrough, and I was like, oh shit, I'm not gonna do that, you know. But just to let you know, it's out there. Let's see. Hmm, I see. I understand why Prof Elm gave you a Pokemon for this errand. To, research, uh, to researchers like Prof. Elm and I, Pokemon are our friends. I saw that you would treat your Pokemon with love and care. Ah. You seem to be dependable. How would you like to help me out? See, this is the latest version of the Pokedex. It automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. Fire received the Pokedex. Thank you. Go meet many kinds of Pokemon and complete that Pokedex. But I've strayed, I stayed too long. I have to get I have to get to Goldenrod for my for my usual radio show. Fire, I'm counting on you. You're returning to Prof. Elm, I see. Here, your Pokemon should have some rest. I'm depending on you. Thank you. So now we gotta take this all the way back to Professor Elm. Oh hey, Professor Elm's calling. Hello? Fire, it's a disaster! Huh, it's just terrible. What should I do? It, oh, oh no. Please, get back here now. And then he was murdered. Alright, seems like some trouble's going down over at the good old Prof. Elm's offices. So let's head on down and check it out. What's up, Hollywag? Don't know why I said it like that, but for some reason... I don't regret it. I love, like, the fucking dead stare that Mimi has. Just like a Chikorita, and it's like, I devoured the souls of my enemies. 
I see dead Pokemon. This song is gonna get stuck in my head. It'll be stuck in your head too. Oh my god. What is your fucking defense, Poliwag? Holy shit. For a level 4, you've taken some heat. Dun, 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 dun. I'm actually gonna get into another battle because I wanna I wanna level up my goddamn Pokemon. Dun, 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 dun. Don't worry. If I ever you know, for the most part you don't need to level your Pokemon that much, right? Until you get to like until you get to Kanto region. But if I do ever run around and start leveling up my Pokemon, I'll do that off screen, right? You guys won't have to see it. Just like I did with Gen 1, <laughs> right? You know, but this time around, we won't be having any Magikarp situations, okay? The King of Kaa, Magikarp. He is the King of Kaa, Magikarp. I just love saying it, I'm sorry. You wanna know what's really funny, actually? In preparation for this playthrough, as I was, you know, running a test, running a test, you know, running a test playthrough, right? As I was doing that, um, <laughs> I was just listening to songs on Spotify, and I was like, you know what? Ah, oh, Razor Leaf. Razor Leaf now doesn't continuously do critical hits, so goodbye to critical hit Razor Leaf, right? But as I was doing this, I was just listening to songs on Spotify, and then I was like, wait a minute, they got some Pokemon songs on here. And then I just started listening to, uh, like, Master Quest, which, oh my god, Master Quest is good, right? Pokemon themes used to be so goddamn good. I don't know what the fuck they did over time. Right? Like, they suck now, honestly. They have no soul in them. The soul is gone. Right? But as I was playing, I was listening to Team Rocket Rocket. <laughs> it was great. Listening to James' soft and subtle voice. You got a Pokemon at the lab? What a waste, a wimp like you. Don't you get what I'm saying? Well, I too have a good Pokemon. I'll show you what I mean. Let's t let's battle. It's time for a Pokemon battle. Huh? What's the battle? This should be honestly, this should be the introduction for every stupid ass random trainer that you just meet eyes with. You don't even know their names, right? And it's just like, huh? <laughs> What's the battle? Go, Cyndaquil. Time to learn about type advantages, right? If you haven't already known. Anyways, type advantages, you know, fire beats grass, grass beats water, water beats fire, and so on and so forth, right? Along with that, two new types have been added to Gen 2, which is the dark type Pokemon and the steel type Pokemon. Pokemon that were previously only one type may now have one of those two additional types. For example, Magnemite. Magnemite, just pure electric in Gen 1, it's now steel and electric. So enjoy that, right? There you go, Cinequil, you suck. 69, nice. Aw, oh, it didn't level me up though. Huh? Was defeated. Hmm. Are you happy you won? Here's 300 bucks. My name? I'm going to be the world's greatest Pokemon trainer. <laughs> what? What the fuck just happened? 